The anthology series American Horror Story has taken us to many different locations during the nine seasons that it has been on. The show was created by Ryan Murphy, who also created the television show Glee. And this show has done a great job of revamping itself season after season. Previous American Horror Story locales have involved season one's murder house, season two, Asylum, season three was The Coven, season four was Freak Show, season five was The Hotel, season six was Roanoke, season seven was The Cult, season eight was Apocalypse. So there's one place left to go. And we gotta go back to the future, which means we have to go back to the past. American Horror Story season nine takes place in the year 1984. What better decade to go back to than the 80s? A lot of great material to use there. 1984 is where we are headed for the ninth season of American Horror Story. So let's get it. Hi, I'm Lenny, and in this video, we're going to be talking about American Horror Story Season 9, titled 1984, or we can shorten it up and call it AHS 1984, but regardless, that is where the ninth season of American Horror Story, the anthology show, is taking place. This show ran on FX, it was nine episodes long, and it's rated TVMA. Within this video, I am going to be discussing the events that take place in American Horror Story in a general sense. So this is a non-spoiler review of the whole season. This is the very first season that American Horror Story veterans Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters have not returned. We still do have a ton of returning actors back to kind of spread the love. So returning for this season of American Horror Story, we have Emma Roberts, Billy Lord, Leslie Grossman, Cody Fern, who actually played the Antichrist in season eight, last season, The Apocalypse. Matthew Morrison, who actually starred on Glee as Will Schuster. John Carroll Lynch, who has played Twisty the Clown in a previous season of American Horror Story and has made cameo appearances as Twisty the Clown in different stories, such as The Cult. Dylan McDermott, who was one of the actors who paved the way in season one in the Murder House season, returns for season nine. Zach Vila having a lot of fun with this character, fully embracing it, doing a great job playing the real serial killer, Richard Ramirez. This season spans the whole decade of the 80s, which was the decade of aerobics and aerobicizing, both males and females rocking large volumes of hair and hairspray. Driving a Trans Am with a T-top was a cool thing to do. New Wave synth rock was in. Cocaine was the big drug. It was the decade of decadence. And this season does a great job embracing that, that whole 10 years. 1984 also takes huge inspiration from the Friday the 13th movies, Jason Voorhees, and the slasher films of the 80s. The main location for this season of American Horror Story takes place at Camp Redwood. And Camp Redwood is notorious because it is the known campsite where a murderer killed a lot of the camp counselors and the children that were there. And this murderer, the serial killer, was nicknamed Mr. Jingles. Why was he named Mr. Jingles it has nothing to do with Christmas. This serial killer became known as Mr. Jingles because of the large amount of keys that he would carry with him on a key ring. Therefore, those keys would jingle when he would walk and hence Mr. Jingles was born. Benjamin Richter, also known as Mr. Jingles, worked at Camp Redwood until he snapped and went on his murderous spree, killing the counselors and the kids. Benjamin Richter was a former Vietnam vet who would cut off the ears of his victims and make it a souvenir by putting it on a necklace. And when he snaps at Camp Redwood, he does the same thing. But there is one person that Mr. Jingles is unable to get, and it's Margaret Booth. And Margaret Booth becomes our final girl within the original massacre of the Camp Redwood. Margaret Booth is now the new owner 
of Camp Redwood. So she has purchased Camp Redwood and reopened it. And now Margaret Booth is a very big Bible thumper. She's a very big Christian pushing her beliefs. That she believes that she was saved for a purpose and she wants to open up Camp Redwood to show that you can be a victim and not be scared of circumstances in your life, that you can move past them and beyond them. So Margaret buys the camp, she reopens it, and she hires a new wave of camp counselors to come and staff Camp Redwood so that it can be opened up to the public, to the children, and hopefully restore the camp to its former glory before incidents happen. Meanwhile, Benjamin Richter, aka Mr. Jingles, who was convicted for the murders at Camp Redwood and has been incarcerated this whole time, gets wind that Camp Redwood has reopened. Once Benjamin gets news that the one victim that he was unable to get is now returned to the camp and has bought it and reopened it, Benjamin Richter decides to escape from prison and make his way back home. And home is Camp Redwood. Season 9 of American Horror Story, this was a blast throughout. Not that the previous seasons had not been good, but the previous seasons have suffered from a second half that has not been strong. Season 9 felt consistent to me all the way through. It felt just as good on the second half as it did on the first half. And I really, really enjoyed this season. This season was a lot of fun. Personally, for me, I think it's been my favorite season of American Horror Story since season one. And this run is very meta. There's a lot of references to horror films and horror film cliches within this series. To include a real serial killer like Richard Ramirez as one of the characters within this season was brilliant. This season is very campy. Pun intended here, but the season is very campy, and I mean that in a good way. It is a lot of fun. The show itself is having fun, and you can see that, and the actors themselves within this run are having a lot of fun with the characters that they're playing and the source material. Therefore, when you're watching it, you can't help but enjoy it. This season does not take itself too seriously, such as previous seasons have, such as the cult season. It's a lot more lighthearted in its tone, and even though it still deals with murder and chaotic themes such as that, unpleasant topics, it's still done in a lighthearted way and it's done in a very tongue-in-cheek way. If you get a chance, I highly recommend that you give this season a go. If I was going to rate this whole season overall on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the absolute worst, 10 being the absolute best, I would give American Horror Story 1984 a 9. I think it's one of the best seasons in a very long time. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see other videos like this, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo down in the bottom corner, which will subscribe you to my channel, and you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video. As always, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak about these things that I'm passionate about. Thank you for lending me your ears. I greatly appreciate it. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.